What up film family, it's your boy D with another video. In today's video I want to explain to you how you can get a Contax T2 for $5. The clickbait title says Contax T2, the intro says Contax T2, but in reality you can get any of these cameras that I have here for $5. I just have a couple items here to give you as examples. Like my biggest win yet to this day is this Contax T2. I bought it for $5 from a thrift store, but I want to give you guys some bigger tips on how to get some these cameras from thrift stores for $5. Got this Mamiya right here as this body with this waist level viewfinder for free. This was less than $5. I got a Mew 1 for $2 that they thought was broken. I bought this Pentax ME Super, not the lens, but just the body itself for $5 and I already had a lens. This is $5. I didn't get this for $5, but I have a friend who lives in Oregon and she bought hers for $5 at a thrift store, Yashica T4. So it's an example that this stuff you can definitely find at thrift stores as well. So buying these cameras at a really good price, even if it's not $5, is 100% possible. Stay tuned for more info on how to accomplish this. Quick side note guys, this is a great time to hit that like button for me. I post film related videos like this every single Monday. And now back to the video. So the first way that I got this Contax T2, the way that my friend got a Contax T4 and the Mew, I have a friend that got the Mew 2. So the way that you do this is, I read a book or something like that. I read about how you can manifest things in your life. So I ended up starting with manifesting a parking spot into my work. One of the most stressful parts about my job was there was no parking. So we had to park on the street. So instead of driving to work thinking I'm not going to get a spot. I started thinking at work when I get there there's going to be a spot right in front. It's going to be great and I kept just thinking that daily and then I started finding spots at work a lot easier and faster than expected and it was just a funny test that I was able to do and then I was telling my brother how I really wanted to buy a Contax T2 and not even the T3. I should have asked for a T3. I manifested this T2. There's a thrift store that I go to almost weekly I used to always kind of go with the attitude ah, I'm not gonna find anything whatever and, and I would find stuff like an Olympus zoom or like a Canon but I never found something this great and my friend at the same exact thrift store before I found this he found an Olympus Mew Epic but again I think he definitely was manifesting that into his life and found it because he was telling me about it and he ended up finding at another thrift store a Leica Mini Lux that goes to show that it's really about the cameras that you want and you think about that you get and I wanted a C330 and it was crazy that I ended up getting this for free at a thrift store and I'll tell you later on how I did that and I wanted this Canon waterproof camera I really wanted a, a waterproof camera and I got that yes you get lucky that's what people call it but at the end of the day you do have to think about these items and ask the universe for it which sounds very hippie or like gypsy but this is what worked I don't think you find something without asking the universe for it which is what I read about in the book and I slowly was testing it out and have been able to manifest a lot of things that I've wanted because of this knowledge that I have. I say one way or another I'm gonna find this item that I really want in my life. Another example was I went to a different thrift store and I ended up getting a Dyson for $5 as well. Just because I really wanted a Dyson, all of my brothers have Dysons and they're like super expensive vacuums. I was one day gonna buy a Dyson and then I bought this really expensive vacuum that broke on me, but because I was manifesting it literally the same week that my vacuum was no longer available to me, I found a Dyson at a thrift store for $5. So that is the way to get lucky and manifest a camera you really really want in your life and get it that way it's not gonna work the first week the second week it may take a month or a couple months but you have to genuinely just want it in an unselfish terrible way just be conscious and I guarantee if you follow this method it'll happen just keep believing and, and don't give up The first tip will be to go to your local thrift store. So if there's any mom and pop thrift stores, avoid the big chain stores like Salvation Army, Goodwill, 
Try to find if there's any local thrift stores that maybe they don't even care about technology and that's where I've had my biggest luck. I don't really like the Salvation Army or Goodwills because those employees for whatever reason end up hating on you or hating on what you like to collect. They will up the prices of the items that you are going in for. So once you choose your thrift store, Goodwill, Salvation, Mom and Pop thrift store, hopefully, you can go into that thrift store. One thing is look for cameras, right? Ask for that, but eventually build a relationship with the staff. That's what I did and ended up getting this uh, Mamiya. So when you're asking for like, do you have any cameras in that I can look at? Eventually the staff, even when you buy, they'll ask you a lot of times when I'm like checking out the staff, staff there is like so what do you do with all these cameras and then I just tell them you know I'm honest about it and I just say I am really into film photography I like buying these cameras and fixing them keeping them or even reselling them on you know wherever I resell them that way they get to know me you know and always be very polite be patient build a relationship be a good person this is a life skill that I'm giving you guys that everyone should be using but you know, with building that relationship, building that familiarity with that staff will help you in the long run because they will remember you. In the example of this thrift store here locally, this guy was like, hey man, I got something for you. And he had it in the back, he brought it out and he's like, hey, I think this is broken because it had no lens, it had, it was just like this and it had the waist level viewfinder. And he was like, I don't think it works but you can have it for free. So imagine that from the get go, he was just straight up telling me like, I know that you like this stuff. He knows that I'm that film camera guy. So he was like, check this out. You can have it. That was crazy. From the same store, I was buying cameras and he's just happy that I'm able to be a returning customer. And I'm always buying stuff from him. He was just showing his appreciation for my passion, holding this for me until I came in. And I'm very grateful for that. Manifesting this into my life. All I ended up doing is buying three different lenses, but I got the body for free. This is the best way. Building a relationship with that store is gonna be your best bet to getting the best deal for these cameras. So other side tips that I kind of just have here on my iPad, you can go to like a Hofstis and they also have film cameras. They always have them a lot higher priced than a thrift store would. So I kind of stay away from them. I did buy a Canon AE-1 from there once, but I did end up paying, it wasn't terrible, but like $30 for it. And they won't bargain with you price at all, even if it's been there for months. Another thing you can go to, I've never gone to these and gotten lucky, but you can go to a yard sale, garage sale, or anyone selling straight out of their house. But for the most part, when I go, they don't have any cameras. Like if they do, it's like a Polaroid that I don't want. And then I have gone free cameras from people that just find them in the garage or their mom or their dad has one. And then since they know that I'm the film guy on Instagram or their film friend on Facebook or their coworker that shoots film, they will bring me their camera. But like, hey man, check out this camera, my mom or wherever they found it, they'll just give it to me because they don't feel like they have a purpose for it and they don't know what to do with it. So, I mean, that's another way. So talk to people about your passion. The universe will find its way help you find it my last tip I don't think it was any of these cameras that I have here uh, I think I bought a Pentax K1000 and the guy wanted to sell it to me for $15 and I was like no uh, how about I give you $5 because that's what I'm used to paying when I go to these thrift stores. And he was another employee that was kind of hating on me. So I came back the next day and I talked to someone else and I offered them $5 for a priced uh, K1000. That was $15 for $5 and they gave it to me. Just another tip is you don't always have to pay the price at a thrift store for what they have priced. Not low ball, but offer them more reasonable prices for these cameras because they don't use them. They don't know about them. They get these cameras for free so if we buy them for five dollars they're still getting a deal yeah it's better if we pay a hundred or whatever for them but we're not rich we're not balling so don't be afraid to try to get yourself a better deal when trying to buy a camera well that's kind of it guys thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button for me if you learned if you found anything beneficial to this video hit subscribe I have a lot more videos on film coming out how to's tips and tricks and shooting film photo walks, bunch of stuff coming out. I do post every Monday, so stay tuned for that stuff. And as always guys, happy, which one should I grab? I guess this one. And as always guys, happy shooting.